Stephen, welcome to Fleetwood Town Football Club. What is it that attracted you uh, to Fleetwood? There was many things. Um, I think, firstly, the ambition of the club. Um, secondly, the stability of the football club. And obviously, the infrastructure of the football club. And you know, all of these combined make it a, a very attractive proposition. Um, also, you know, I think that the work that the previous manager has put in place. You know, Graham is a person that I know and a person that uh, did a terrific job here and I think he's left great foundations for me as the next manager to, to try and move it on again. It's a club that you are familiar with. Uh, you come up against uh, Fleetwood last season. You've also played in a pre-season friendly at your time in Coventry. Yeah, and I think that um, when you you come here, you, you can feel almost the... Uh, the drive and the motivation from within the club. You know, you've seen a, a, a non-league club, you know, grow dramatically over the last nine or ten years. You know, a fantastic state-of-the-art main stand, an incredible training base, you know, that's fit for Premier League clubs. And it's a, it's a wonderful club with, with, as I've said, great ambition and, uh, and also uh, great opportunity. When did you find out that this potentially could be happening? I spoke to the chairman, um, I think, in the, the early part of the week. We had a good conversation over the telephone. Um, I then spoke to my, my representatives and arranged for me to come up yesterday and speak to him in greater detail and, uh, and I suppose, present myself to him exactly uh, how I was as a manager. But, uh, you know, the chairman being the chairman, he'd done all his research and I think he knew me inside out, I think he knew me better than myself, so uh, the, the truth is we, we, we seem to, to, to fit and I think that that's a, a vitally important part of, of any decision, you know, I think that uh, a manager has to fit the football club and I think the fit is good, you know, I have the same thoughts of the progression of the football club as in the chairman, the chief exec and, uh, and I think the fit is right. Um, there'll be a lot of hard work ahead. Uh, we're currently in a, a poor predicament in terms of second bottom in the league, but uh, you know that gives us scope to work hard with the players and really develop the players and uh, and hopefully gain results along the way. I'm sure it's been a bit of a whirlwind of a 24 hours for you. <laughs> it's been a real uh, whirlwind. You know, I didn't return back to my house um, until nearly 11 o'clock yesterday. I then had to get things in place. Of course I've just purchased a house down in Leamington so I had to pick up the keys this morning and hand them to my wife and uh, had a number of things to, to get sorted but you know this is a job that I'm so excited about. It's a job that my assistant Neil is uh, exceptionally excited about. It's a club that uh, as I've said has ambition and uh, it's a club that hopefully uh, we can continue to enhance the the very good work done by the previous managers. Just talking about Neil, you bring him into the football club with you and uh, the current backroom staff are also staying. Absolutely, yeah, there'll be no hand grenade from me, you know, I think we we have uh, very good reports on the current staff. Uh, I think the, the current staff have, uh, have worked exceptionally well at this football club. You know, we've obviously done our research on them and feel that they can very much help and assist us along the way and, and Chris will work alongside Neil and assist in me and uh, I'm really looking forward to working with him. I suppose it's a bit in the stars isn't it, you start on Saturday against uh, your former club. It's amazing, you know, and that's the type of scenarios that football throws up. I had two terrific years at Coventry and two exceptionally challenging years, you know, I think that uh, possibly every circumstance uh, that a football manager could experience, I experienced in that two years, but I wouldn't change it. And at the time, you know, after losing my job, I was, I was extremely disappointed, you know, angry, bitter to a degree because of the work that we'd done. We'd put four years' work into two years. We'd worked tirelessly to try and stabilise and turn that club around. But then, you know, after the initial two months of, of, of anger, you start thinking more clearly. And the important thing is that uh, over the last four or five months that I've spent time analysing, debriefing and looking over my initial five years of a football manager, or sorry, of being a football manager, and it's been 
the best period of my time thus far. And uh, I, I think I've benefited from it. At the time, you think it's it's harsh, you think it's the wrong decision, but the truth is, I come back in, I think, in far better shape than I left. And I, you know, when when you, you leave a club and you leave it under the circumstances that I did, it's very easy to apportion blame elsewhere. But the most important thing is that you look at yourself and look at areas that I must improve in. And I spent time with my assistant doing that. We, we looked over many of the notes that we'd taken because we're, we're great notes takers uh, and, 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 and analysed many of the situations that we were subjected to and thought about areas of improvement and hopefully uh, coming back in, I'll certainly come back in a, in, in a better shape than I left. You can tell just by talking to you these first five minutes you're highly motivated for, for the job. Um, is the project at Fleetwood one that you know, you, you're relishing to really get your teeth into? Yeah, there was a number of jobs that came up and, um, you know, I was contacted on several opportunities during my, my time out. The timing of several of them weren't right. Uh, the club itself, as I said, wasn't the right fit for me. But I certainly feel that this club is the right fit for me. And I'm looking forward to working with a very ambitious chairman and a very ambitious club. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things to put, be put in place. but. The one good thing is that, uh, as I've said, the previous managers have have uh, both moved this club on in a positive direction, and hopefully, you know, given time and the opportunity, I can certainly do that. It's a club that does stand on its own two feet. It's, it's a, you know, it's a remarkable story, for Fleetwood Town. I'm sure the one that you know very well. So many promotions, so many years, and to think ten years ago they were in the bottom reach of the non-league football. Um, it's, it's, it's a remarkable story, but the great thing for me is, yes, it does stand on its own two feet. Uh, and yes, we have to be shrewd within the transfer market. We haven't the largest of budgets in the league, far from that. And we have to be creative. But the great thing for me is, in my last two jobs at Falkirk, I had to reduce the playing budget by a remarkable 70-75%. And at Coventry, over a two-year period, it was 60%. And these are really challenging and difficult situations. Here I come into a club where there does not require to be a reduction. Yes, the budget is tight. Yes, there's not a lot of flexibility in it at this moment in time, but reducing it is not the priority and, and, and that was very important because I think the five years prior to this have been a great apprenticeship to myself, but I didn't want to go into a club where again I had to address these situations. Talking about your career, uh, so the Fleetwood Town fans that maybe don't know you too well. Yeah. Um, one of the only players that have only ever represented Rangers and Celtic, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, represent them poorly, people would <laughs> people would argue. Uh, but no, you know, obviously I was very lucky to play for two, you know, terrific football clubs and it was a great experience at both. I, I met some great people and played with some great players and, you know, during my, my time as a young player at Rangers, I played in a dressing room full of winners and you know, very much shaped me as a person and you know, I, I learned all about standards and discipline and I learned the importance of winning and I think that we can all come into jobs, we can all talk about philosophy, style of play but ultimately it's about winning and that was one of the biggest learning curves at Rangers and Celtic is that you need to win and, uh, and, and that is a message that I will certainly be preaching to my players that we have to win games of football and at times you have to find ways of winning games of football. Me like anybody, I think if you've looked back at my career, I've played a certain style of football, a very attractive style of football, but I also understand that you have to win games. So at times you have to find a way and uh, that's something that we'll certainly be uh, imposing on the group. If you had a message to the Fleetwood Town fans that are watching, watching this, what, what would you say to them? that I'm hugely honoured to be manager of this football club and uh, the one thing that I can guarantee is that I will be relentless in my pursuit to try and take this club forward. I think anybody that knows me knows how intense I am. I am an absolute workaholic and I will work tirelessly with my players to improve them. Finally, uh, what's your first week in the install now? Uh, well, uh, you know, obviously we've got certain things still to, to tie up but uh, I'll watch the, the game from the stand tonight. Uh, I'll have nothing to do with the game. You know, I'll, I'll not be present in the dressing room at any time, um, and I'll observe. And, and, and obviously, we'll take notes. And then, you know, over the next 
few days we'll drip feed certain things into the team and certain principles that we work towards but uh, that will take several weeks to fully implement uh, but slowly but surely we can hopefully change the players mindset into the way we want to play and that's no um, you know that's n no I, I, I suppose uh, detraction on what Graham's does but every manager has a different philosophy and a different way of doing things. Graham's philosophy is slightly different to my philosophy and my philosophy is slightly different to somebody else's philosophy. So I have to get the players understanding exactly how we work. Good looking. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.